بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم آئی ایم محمد سیب اللہ فرام ایس کی ٹی اکیڈمی ڈاٹ کام ان دس ویڈیو آئی ویڈیو شو یو ہاو ٹو کریئٹ ایس سائیڈ ایلیویشن فرام ایس پلان تو یہ لڈی کریئٹیڈ ایس پلان اور دن ان دی پریویس ویڈیو بھی آل ویڈی ڈران ایس پلان ایلیویشن سو لیٹس سٹارٹ بائی کریئٹنگ ایس گراؤن لیول لائن سو آئی ویل انٹر ایل فور لائن and I will draw a line for side elevation next thing we must create a line on the 45 angle so few methods uh, that you can create a line on 45 angle first you can create by construction line so I will enter Excel and then I will enter A for angle and I will enter angle reference 45. So here I can click that's a reference line I'll create by construction line. Another method uh, I can create a line on 45 angle by line tool. So L for line here I will click and then I will uh, enter some keys with shift plus 2 at the rate for example 100 feet angle 45 this is the second method you can create a line on 45 angle the third method here I will turn on polar and right click on this uh, and select settings and here in increment angle you select 45 then select ok now L for line and 45 angle so the, that's the third method turn up ortho and turn on polar tracking again I will turn on ortho now from this side if you see so I will draw a line from that corner over this line and when these two lines intersect so I will draw a line from that inter intersection point to that ground level and this is the last point below so I will again draw a line from here and from that intersection point I will draw a line again if you remember we, we have taken we had taken an offset of 6 inches for length, in, length level so I will take offset 6 inches for length level and trim the remaining lines that are outside of our boundary delete that lines now if you see there is a corner our rooms room ends here so from this corner I will draw a line again and I will draw from that intersection point now offset 11 feet for roof level and trim that are outside of that roof level tr double enter for trim now one line is remaining so i will write over there and then i will draw a line from that intersection point I will trim it and delete that line now if you remember this offset if not so you can know about it uh, by a distance uh, di for distance so this offset is 18 inches I will take offset of 18 inches I will trim it, trim it, 
trim trim and I will copy this design here and I will mirror it and then move it over there and then trim it delete that design extra design so now for shared you can copy this shared we already created shared so copy it here and mirror it uh, on midpoint now on every corner you must draw a line 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 and line you will th you will be thinking that why not i am making it a complete line so here is a simple trick extend tool you can use here ex double enter extend so the line will be completed automatically now copy draw a line here and copy this design here to this point delete this and mirror it on midpoint and I will draw a line between them so it will be connected you also can make a design here if you want so here I will draw a line again offset 4.5 inches offset 4.5 inches delete this copy this design here and mirror it on midpoint delete these lines and draw a line between them now one thing is remaining if you see there is a door so I will draw lines from both ends over there again a line and I will draw it to the plinth level and its height will be 7 feet so I will offset 7 feet and I will fill it but remember one thing that radius must be 0 if radius is not 0 so you how can you change it so I will press F for fillet R for radius and press uh, enter 0 here this is a door a remaining door we already made it in the front elevation its design so I will copy select all copy from this base point and select here again this base point that's it now you can see if maybe there is a difference between them so I will delete it and I will design it again if I want distance 3 feet 6 inches and distance this is 4 feet there so why it is changed so uh, you can make another design if you want you also can change it if you want offset 4 inches 4 inches 4 inches 4 inches F enter M enter for multiple
offset 2 inches 2 inches 2 inches and 2 inches delete this delete this and trim these lines so if you want a design like this you can I will again design like this offset 2 inches to one side and 2 inches to another side delete this and trim it so here we will draw a line sorry line and again a line now you can make a circle of 4 inches offset 2 inches delete these lines and delete that circle trim it now draw a circle again of 3 inches and trim it now you can take offsets like this so offset 2 inches 2 inches 2 inches 2 inches fillet you also can take multiple fillets draw lines 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 and mirror it on midpoint offset 2 inches 2 inches 2 inches 2 inches and 2 inches fillet multiple remember one thing that fillet will work only in lines you can't fillet multiple uh, rays or construction, uh, construction lines so this is the main point that you can only fillet multiple lines not multiple rays also you can't sorry mirror mirror it on midpoint again offset 2 inches 2 inches 2 inches 2 inches 2 inches fillet multiple Then draw lines on each corner. Draw corner on each car and draw line on each corner and now copy. Sorry, mirror it. Always, always I, I always make a mistake while copying and mirror. Remember it. So that's how we created a door design again. Copy the text here, and it will be side elevation. So that's it. This is side elevation of a simple plan in AutoCAD. Don't remove or erase this line. If you want changes in your plan, so after changing your something uh, about your plan, for example, window setting doors. So if you remove this line or erase it, you will be not able to make a, a correction in your side elevation so don't erase it it will be till you print it so that's it i hope you will like my videos if you like my videos please subscribe like share and comment on my channel and my videos see you in next videos inshallah
बाय